so funny. I just made myself a tea because my throat, my voice is like going out and I was like, it's a Q and A. It's like, sip the tea while we spill the tea. Wyatt is gonna hate me. My son's gonna be like, mom. It works though. Hello loves and welcome back to Pumpkin and Gray or welcome if you're new here. Today I am answering your questions. If you weren't following a few months ago, you wouldn't know this, but I took a little break from YouTube for about four months and just was going through a lot, a lot of changes, a lot of things with my body. Then we got the flu for three weeks, meaning it ran through all five of us for weeks. Then we got COVID. It was such a to-do, so I am back. And I asked here on YouTube and on Instagram what questions you have, and I got some really fun ones. So we are gonna just jump in and have a little cozy, little cozy Q&A together. That highlight is highlighting, holy moly. It's from ColourPop, by the way. It's like one of their jelly, I don't know what it's called. If you wanna know, let me know in the comments and I will tell you, but it's from ColourPop. It just keeps catching that light. All right, I am going to pull up YouTube first. I'm gonna go to the community tab and see, have a look at these questions. So just so you know, before I jump in, I got a lot of questions about books, um, like favorite books, what you're reading right now, and this will not turn into a book channel by any means. We're doing all the cozy, comfy autumn vibes here, but I only read suspense and thriller books, so it falls in line, and I am a reading book junkie. Like, I read a lot, so I already have filmed. I don't know what'll be up first. It might already be up. If so, I'll have it linked down below. If not, my favorite books of all time, suspense, creepy thrillers, that'll be out and I will from time to time be doing like some book videos. Okay, the first one is what made you fall in love with Halloween? I am only gonna touch on this one quickly because I know I've shared it before but it was a long time ago. But Halloween has always been a part of my life and soul because of my mom. Growing up, she just loved autumn so much that I completely embraced and fell in love with it as well. One of my absolute favorite, most vivid memories of childhood is every fall, if it was a morning that was beautiful, my mom would come into my room and I had this big tree in front of my window on the second story and it got so bright and colorful of orange and yellow and she would fling open my window and we would breathe in the air, like close our eyes and just have a moment to breathe in the fresh autumn air, which is something I still do with my kids now. And she just loved it. She loves being scared. She actually likes horror way more than I do. I'm more like comfy, cozy autumn, 90s Halloween. She loves being scared. I was also all part of it. So we decorated. I have vivid memories of making jack-o'-lanterns. We went all out at Halloween time. Let me know if you remember me telling the story about my snake in the trick-or-treat basket. We had a real python. Anyways. It's been since birth. Like it was just who I was meant to be and I fully believe that. And it has just snowballed from there to my entire personality. What inspires you most right now? Erica asked, which I love. Um, I can't really get into like details, but which I know is so annoying, but I have a lot of plans and fun things coming up and work related things and goals for Pumpkin and Gray. And I think that's what's inspiring me in a lot of areas of my life. So I'm gonna do a whole nother video. I got a lot of questions asking how I lost weight, what I'm doing. If you're not following me on Instagram, I've been sharing my whole health journey. I'm down like 22 pounds now. Um, I have a whole video coming for that or it might be up. But I really have like changed my entire way of thinking since I had to take that mental break and was away from YouTube. Um, I just wanted to be a better person, a better mom, a better wife, mentally, physically, to be able to keep up with my kids, a better woman who takes care of herself and realizes that self-care is not selfish. It is in fact a need. And if other humans get it, mom should be allowed it. Um, I just, I have a lot, I have like a passion going again, a fire ignited under me, and I have a lot coming up, and that's all I can say for now. Just stay tuned. Okay, um, what are your religious beliefs? I hope you don't mind me asking, I'm just curious. No, I do not mind you asking that at all. Um, <laughs> it's just not a super easy one for me to answer, 
because I don't put myself in one category. Um, I am definitely spiritual. If I had to put myself in any category, that is what I would say. I am spiritual. I do not um, like to box that in. I, I am someone who naturally questions everything everything thing. I don't just go with what people tell me. So boxing me into one religion is not easy, but I am absolutely spiritual. I believe in our universe. I believe in the energy that our universe provides. I believe in manifesting karma. I believe in spirits, spirit guides. I have had my grandfather come through during certain readings. I know some people think that is such BS but I was hysterically crying. He said things that no one outside of my immediate family would ever know. Um, so I'm just very spiritual. I really believe in Mother Earth. Um, I don't mean like as a figure, but um, that we get our energy straight from nature. I believe in grounding. So I'm just a spiritual person, if that makes sense. I believe in crystals. I believe in their healing power. I am learning more all the time. I am obsessed with astrology. I've never met a bigger Virgo than me. I have seen way too many things for astrology to be a coincidence. I dive very deep into that, but I'm still learning. It is like a never ending learning process for me, but a lot of books, a lot of learning. So that was a long winded way of saying, I guess I'm just a very spiritual person. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Um, I love Jade the Libra. For my Halloween vibes. I, I love watching my actual community of spooky girls that are like my actual real life girlfriends who are also on YouTube. I'm scared to start naming them because I know I'm gonna forget people that I love, but you know, Sierra and Taylor and Heather and Jordan and everyone that's in the spooky community that is now on YouTube. I love watching them. I am obsessed with Annie Elise Tend to Life. I love Daniel Hallen, who is another true crime. Annie Elise is true crime, Daniel Hallen's true crime. Um you know who else I watch a lot? Ice just fell out of my ice maker. That just scared. <laughs> that just scared me. I also love to watch James and Meg. I don't know why they don't have like 100K on YouTube. They are a couple, the cutest couple who travel full time and they've done a Salem video. I think it was last year or the fall before they did an entire like eight part series of traveling New England. So it is like so cozy. They did New Hampshire all during the fall, Vermont. Woodstock in Vermont. It was so good. So I highly recommend them as well. I'm probably missing people that I watch all the time. Oh God, I freaking love Kendall Ray and Mile Higher. She's a true crime girl. Mile Higher is her podcast with her husband, Josh. I cannot get enough of them. They're from Colorado. So good. And I know I'm missing a bunch. I'm sorry. Oh, and Shanae. I can't forget Shanae. Oh my God, see, I knew this was gonna happen. As soon as I'm editing this, I'm gonna forget other girls, but Shanae on YouTube as well. Oh, I love this one. What is your favorite or most prized Halloween decoration? It would have to be this, I don't know how I'm gonna explain this. I've shared it on this channel before. It is a skull. It almost looks like when you would take those beads and like melt them in the oven and it like melts down all together. It's like that, but it's like this big and I got it for my mom. It's one of the decorations that I remember us having up every year. So it holds a special place in my heart when I get it out because it is from the 90s. I also last year got the 90s, actually they were 80s, vampire teeth that glow in the dark that were sitting back here before. They're huge. I've wanted them for years, so that's definitely one of them as well. This I love. What is your most absolute favorite food in the whole world that you could eat every day and never get sick of? Also, how are the kitties? Love you. Love you back. The kitties are so good. Um, if you're new, I have three cats, Marnie from Halloween Town, Max Hocus Pocus, and Frankie, who's actually named after Frank and Weenie. Um, they're amazing. Henri, wild, so cute. I'm obsessed with my cats. They are such like a light in our house. I just love, I love cats. I love all animals, but oh my God, I love cats. Um, and my favorite food, okay, favorite like category of food is Mexican, hands down. That is what I would say. I could eat like every single day, but my favorite actual food, like if I had to pick a item, I'd pick a potato <laughs> because I am obsessed with mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, fries. I don't eat much of it now that I'm on this like health journey, but like potatoes, in particular mashed potatoes are 
my favorite food ever. Okay, I'm switching over to Instagram. We're gonna go like back and forth. I think the question box, yeah, it is still open. That's okay. What was the point in your life when you knew that you had to visit Salem? I always say this, but it was like sixth grade when I learned about the witch trials. And then I think I pieced together more. Like I grew up watching Hocus Pocus, but I don't think I ever was like, oh, Salem's a place you can go to until I learned the history of Salem. And then I was like, what? Overwhelmingly mind blown that I could make my worlds of like the history and Hocus Pocus come together and actually go to Salem. A lot about weight on Instagram as well. So again, I will get to that. All time favorite movies and pet peeves. Favorite movie in the world is Hocus Pocus without a doubt. Um, and then A Christmas Story is number two. I'm really a holiday movie fan, but I also love cozy movies from like the 80s and 90s, like Pretty Woman, Father of the Bride, those types of vibes. Like they get me just like, oh, I love them. And then a pet peeve of mine, probably loud noises. Like I get very overstimulated easily. And so I think what annoys me, like what gets me like, oh, like, like I want to scream or I am screaming inside of my head is when there is way too much chaos and noise going on. And I also cannot stand when people chew with their mouths open. Heather, Heather, who I just talked about, one of the YouTube girls said, when are we going to Salem together? And I'm like, say less. I think I've mentioned this before, but I actually connected with Heather because she used to watch my YouTube and she is on YouTube, so you need to check her out. I will link her down below as well as the other ones that I mentioned. Um, she was sitting outside of Gulu Gulu and she tried the Andy's Latte, which is the one I always talk about. She shared like a pop-up of my Instagram and said she was trying it because of me. And I like randomly found her watching Salem vlogs as one does nonstop. And I freaking love her so much. You have to follow her. She's like so real. I love Heather. Okay, this was kind of a suggestion. We need a Salem outfit planning video. Love that idea. I will keep sharing pack with me videos. I have four more trips this year, um, which is fun because I have a spring trip, a summer trip, a fall trip, and a winter trip left this year. So vastly different outfits. I'll make sure to share pack with me to kind of give you guys some inspo. And then baby names that you love, but you won't be using. Yes, no more babies for us. I love autumn, which I know might sound like duh for me, but I almost used Autumn until Salem was like, wait, I need Salem. Um, but I love Autumn for a little girl. We love Jack for boys. I love Milo. We loved Marshall for a boy. I know it's a little bit more like old school. Um, for a girl, I also have always loved Eloise. I loved Ruby. I like kind of more old fashioned names like that. Favorite junk TV series. Um, the Housewives and Vanderbump, I would say top, top one of all would be The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but I do also love The O.C., and I love Vanderpump Rules, I know. I just do. I love watching them at night. I love laying in bed and knowing I have a new episode. The reunion's the best. Are you able to make a living from posting here on Instagram? I adore your page, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, yes, this is what I do full-time. I work on Instagram and YouTube for a living. Um, I'm not gonna get into like specifics obviously, but content creators make the most money from collaboration. So like my YouTube is monetized and I do make money on YouTube, which I am so grateful for, but the videos that have a sponsorship are where you make the most, just like on Instagram. You don't get paid on Instagram, you know, to post like a funny reel or an outfit, unless it's a sponsored one, which will say like paid partnership. Um, that is where I make like, 80% of my money and without going into like details yes like I make a full-time income I used to work at a hospital for god I think I worked there for like seven years full-time for a long time then I was able to cut back to part-time and then we moved to Colorado and I was able to do this full-time now my mom keeps my daughter one day a week which is so hugely helpful that's today my content days but in the fall she will sadly have to start kindergarten full-time so I will like for the first time ever actually have five days a week to do this full, full-time hours as my living, if that makes sense. Okay, October Rust, how did you and Glenn meet? I have shared the story, I believe here, but maybe only on Instagram. Um, Glenn and I grew up in the same neighborhood. His house was like right up this hill from mine, and my older brother and his older brother became best friends, so our families were like always just around, you know? Like his brother took vacations with us, it was just, 
he was always there. Um, he's three years older than me. We, I was a girl, obviously he's a boy. So it's not like we like played together when we were little much, but I've known him my entire life and his family. Um, we actually, when we were in Salem this last trip, for his birthday in January, it's gonna be so awkward to show you, hold on. Got tattoos of each other's house numbers from that neighborhood. So I got the 504 and he got the 554. First hand tattoo, by the way, how crazy that I have a tattoo on my hand. I love it so much. Um, and we wanted to get each other's house numbers because that's how we met, obviously. We had known each other our whole lives. And then my brother threw me a 21st birthday party the day after I turned 21. And I invited Glenn and he, to my surprise, showed up. We hadn't really talked a lot. He slid in my DMs first. And we were gonna go to dinner and never did. And then I invited him to my party. I actually left him on red for a little while. Um, so we never went to dinner, but then I invited him to my birthday. Taylor Scaratonin, if you're not following her, said, what made you start your social media accounts? Love you, you're such an inspo to me. I love you back, Taylor. She is such a girl's girl. Like what a supportive gem in the world of social media where not everything is great, not everybody's kind. Um, you need to follow her on YouTube and Instagram. She is just like me in that we are soul sisters. We live for autumn and cozy, comfy vibes. I would say I wanted to start my social media way back when because I needed an outlet. I had two little boys at the time. I was working full time at the hospital and I just felt like I wanted to be creative. I'm a very creative person. I can't draw, I can't do art, nothing like that, but more so with videography, photography, just my brain is creative. Like I'm always coming up with ideas and I saw other people do it. And I remember standing in this kitchen crying to Glenn, like feeling frustrated, not understanding how these moms were doing this and having an outlet and also making money. So I guess I just was inspired by other people that I saw doing it and like the need to create. Someone asked, will the Wine Coven podcast ever be coming back? Do not have plans to bring it back. We are all just in such different stages of life. I freaking love Sierra and Corinne. The Wine Coven as a whole will always hold a special place in my heart. We had so much fun in that stage of life. But I just feel like right now, we're all so busy doing our own things. Like Sierra's killing it. She's a business owner. Corinne has her whole Instagram, which has blown up. Plus she has a son to take care of. I work here, I have three kids. I just feel like we're all so busy. Um, but I don't know, never say never, I guess, you know? Okay, best time to go to Salem and the best museum. Best time, this is always so controversial. Every time I say it, people are like, why not? I always say if it's your first trip, don't go in October. And I know that's not what people wanna hear because everybody wants to go in October. But I guess it's what you're prepared for. So my favorite time is October, autumn. You cannot beat autumn in Salem. But if you're going and you don't want lines and you wanna see everything and you don't want chaos and you wanna read plaques and you wanna get into everything, like you wanna be able to get tickets to everything and not wait an hour or two to eat, you need to go outside of October. November, September, summer in Salem is stunning. I am in love with summertime in Salem. I cannot wait for our July trip. Um, if you do go for the first time in October, just go prepared, like have an open mind and know you're probably not gonna get to do everything you wanna do and just go and enjoy and embrace the chaos, you know? Uh, my favorite museum is the Witch Dungeon Museum. I do not recommend the Witch Museum. Go to take photos outside. It's the big stunning building that's lit up red at night. I think it could use some work on the inside personally. It's just not my favorite, but the Witch Dungeon Museum is so fun. You go in, you get to learn about the history, and then they take you downstairs to the dungeon where they teach you a lot more about what happened to the victims who were put in prison. You also get to walk along this path and like look in the windows and see the actual sizes of the jail cells back then. There's people in them, um, like figures in them and it's really eye-opening and really sad but really important because I'm a big believer that if you're going to go to Salem you should also show the city respect and the history respect and learn about it so the witch dungeon for sure. Okay will you be doing spooky trips to other places which I'm sure means outside of Salem. I hope so. Someone else also asked about Sleepy Hollow. I have never been to Sleepy Hollow. I would love to go to Sleepy Hollow. It is high up on my list. 
Um, in Salem, no, in Colorado, when we were in Estes Park, I did get to go to the Stanley Hotel, which was really neat. But if I'm being honest, I just, we love Salem so much that every chance I get to travel, because we have three kids, I want to go there. Um, but one of the trips that we go to Salem, I do want to just make the short drive to Sleepy Hollow and see it, because I know it is so neat in the history. I just freaking love New England. You just cannot, you can't beat it. All right, loves, I'm going to wrap up the Q&A there. I have a few more that are left, but a lot of them were weight loss related, travel related, and Salem related, which I'm doing the Salem series, so I'll get to all of them and a dedicated weight loss video. There was also a few about skincare and makeup, so I will do a video for that where I can kind of take my time, show you my new routine, hold up products, maybe we'll apply makeup while I'm talking about it. So stay tuned for that. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope I got to your question. Can't thank you enough for submitting them. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.